When our daughter Mary took her life in 2011, the silence, stigma and lack of support was overwhelming. While there is a broad bo uh, body of knowledge around suicide bereavement and suicide behaviour, there was and still is very little focus on what surviving family members, friends and communities need to cope with this life event. After an idea that I had to hold uh, an event for those who were surviving suicide, um, and that event, um, I had the name of the event, that is the winter solstice. Um, it's the longest night of the year and the shortest day, uh, very symbolic for mental illness and suicide, and we became survivors of Suicide and Friends. The actual project is a, is a um, feature length documentary called Solstice and that aims to give voice to survivors of suicide. They're better placed than anyone to know the impact of poor mental health care and also the, the impact of losing someone to suicide. So like Annette said, the isolation, the stigma, the silence. Many, many of you here tonight have been touched by suicide. It's this kind of event that can make a meaningful difference. My name's Joe Williams. I'm extremely thankful and lucky to be alive to share my story here with you tonight in Albury. So the film centred around Annette and Stuart and the winter solstice event that they formed after they lost Mary. Um, and so, as Annette said, it's looking at also that positive impact of that event is part of the story as well. And it's really, I love that beautiful part of it that is something our community is doing positively around mental health but it expands beyond there, so it's not just one story, it incorporates the voices of other people who have also lost someone to suicide. People who have been affected by suicide connect with each other. This film project addresses the issue of suicide, in particular postvention. Postvention can be described as the helpful activities dedicated to assisting people and communities bereaved or impacted by suicide. So the three outcomes would be, primarily, that we complete that feature length documentary that weaves in those other stories, that brings that broader context, that brings in really well respected commentators. The second outcome would be that we would work with an organisation that's called Australian Teachers of Media. And what they do is they work with films that address an issue and they de develop a um, teacher resource and that's curriculum based goes up online and then becomes nationally available. So that's super exciting if we were able to do that. And the third outcome, once we complete a feature documentary, that makes it eligible to go into festivals, not just in Australia, but internationally as well. It's quite unique in terms of an intimate story and stories about suicide, loss of suicide, working in the mental health space. But those stories are woven through in that global context. And so as we focus our collective mental health stories and journeys, we think that this needs to be, this film needs to be part of that conversation. By capturing the stories of those on the front line with lived experience who are educating and informing their community's response to the tragedy of suicide, we are building, understanding and highlighting the gaps in service provision. It is only through this reconciliation pro process that we will find the answers that lead to prevention. It is the community responses highlighted in this film that will create the political change necessary to help prevent, uh, prevent this shocking loss of life.